Hi, I'm Claire Rosencrantz, and I covered Rihanna's Kiss It Better for Like A Version. Been waiting on that sunshine, boy, I think I need that back. Well, I got back into that album literally like three months ago, probably. Maybe actually two months ago. And I just loved it. I went through it a couple times because I forgot about it. And then I heard this song. And every time I listened to it, it just, it made me feel so good. And it was one of the songs I just kept playing like over and over and over and over again. I just love the attitude she has in all of her songs and the way she uses it through her voice. It's like just super, it's kind of like boss music, I would say for me. <laughs> what are to do? I mean, it's just like a lot less production, it's just pretty simple and like more pulled back. Boy, I think I need that back. We just kind of played around with it being staccato and I just messed around with my voice and there wasn't really a structure but that's kind of what's fun about it i think it changes every single time like i don't think i've done it one way that was the same ever yet so i don't even know i just hope she thinks it's cool that I, like she likes hearing a different version of her song but yeah i really respect her and all the music on that album My dad plays with me on all of my shows. It's really fun. It can be like super comforting to have a, a family member come with me everywhere. Yeah, for the most part, we get along pretty well. Obviously, he's my dad and I get on his nerves and he gets on mine sometimes, but it's nice having him around. <laughs> movie, Screw Time is a song just about me and my friends when I was 18 years old and all of the things that we would do and just kind of reminiscing on all of those um, times and experiences that eventually become memories, which is so sad. I don't know, it's nice to have that song because I feel like I can kind of jump back into a really just fun time in my life. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance with me in my backyard, boy. I like put out my first EP during the pandemic and it happened to do extremely well and I was not expecting that at all. But yeah, I don't think it felt totally real because I couldn't see anybody and it was just like I was getting all these like numbers and notifications on my phone. So it was just really strange. It was really fun, but I just didn't like feel like it was an actual reality. And then coming out of COVID and playing my first show, it was just kind of like, Oh my God, there are actually people here to listen to my music and listen to me sing. And also, I just hope everybody likes it. Like, that's about it. Okay.